cars for sale, but how safe are they? Investigative reporter Tisha Thompson shows why the government says what you are about to see is illegal and probably happening in your own neighborhood. There's something not quite right in this parking lot in Silver Spring. Cars lined up, but do you see what's missing? No license plates, the key to why the News 4i team went undercover. Here we go. We sent a producer to test drive this 1991 Lexus after we found it for sale by owner on Craigslist. 160,000 miles, $2,500. But we discovered he had other cars available too. He said he, he was gonna be selling the minivan. The seller showed us even more vehicles on his phone. In Maryland, anyone who sells more than three cars in a year must have a dealer's license. Otherwise, it's called curb stoning, against the law, and experts say it's risky. We feel if we have to comply with the law, everybody should. Jack Fitzgerald has been in the car business for almost 50 years. He says legit dealers spend thousands to meet government regulations, including bonding, insurance, and taxes. All those laws and regulations are to protect consumers. For months, the News 4i team watched more cars show up on Craigslist and in this parking lot, all using the same cell phone of this man. He's given me a couple of names. His real name is Blake Keller. Eric Friedman with Montgomery County Consumer Protection says police have already shut him down once before in a grocery store parking lot, but didn't bring charges at that time. We have records showing that he's obtained at least 25 or 30 vehicles and then sells them on Craigslist. Keller uses a North Carolina dealer's tag. The I-team found he does have a wholesale license that gives him permission to buy cars from auctions around the country. It does not allow him to sell cars in Maryland, where the Motor Vehicle Administration confirmed he is not licensed. I don't sell cars in Maryland. You say you don't sell any cars in Maryland. No, I didn't say that. I said I don't sell cars in Maryland. But he tried to sell two more cars on Craigslist to our News 4 employees. This 2001 Cadillac and this 1999 Saab. We watched you try to sell that car. But they, these people are wholesalers. No, they're not. They're employees with Channel 4. And the cars are typically junk. John Creel has spent 30 years shutting down curb stoners in Montgomery County and says the real concern is safety. There's no way to tell unless this thing is thoroughly inspected prior to sale that you're not buying something dangerous. Are these cars safe to drive? Oh, yeah. How do you know? Because I've driven them. Have they been inspected? Do they meet Maryland inspection? Well, they probably will. A lot of them have been inspected. They're, they're safe cars. We've talked to a lot of these consumers, and they've said to us, it's the car's not running anymore. I had a difficulty getting the car through inspections. Keller is not alone online. Friedman estimates up to 80% of classified ads are curb stoners. I'm not a back alley salesman. Keller promised to show us his license. We even waited for him to bring it back. But he showed up empty handed. What I'm doing is not illegal. The county disagrees. It says it's now meeting with the MVA and police to figure out a way to shut this guy down for good. If you are looking to buy a used car, we've put a checklist on our website of what you should have inspected. Go to NBCWashington.com and look at our investigations page. We have all kinds of tips for what you need to know when you go buy a car. And most of all, caveat emptor. Mm. <laughs> right? Buyer beware. Buyer beware. Right. Thank you, Tisha.